Gentlemen, Colgate Dental Cream presents the Dennis Day Show, written by Frank Galen, with Paula Winslow, Dink Trout, John Brown, Charles Dant of the orchestra, yours truly, Vern Smith, and starring our popular young singer in A Day in the Life of Dennis Day. Twice a day and before every date, use Colgate Dental Cream to clean your breath while you clean your teeth. Here's Dennis Day to sing My Pretty Girl. My pretty girl, my pretty girl, I'm always dreaming of you. My pretty girl, my pretty girl, my darling, how I love you. Promise me you will never leave me, promise me you will never grieve me, promise me you will not deceive me, oh, my pretty girl, please give me just one kiss, one sweet kiss you won't miss, for your kiss brings such bliss to my lonely heart, my pretty girl, my pretty girl, I'm always dreaming of you, my pretty girl, my pretty girl, my darling, how I love you. Promise me you will never leave me, promise me you will never grieve me, promise me you will not deceive me, oh, my pretty girl. Okay, now, grab your person, here we go. Oh, lead him up center and around outside and balance on your corner. Oh, swing, oh, swing that pretty little girl and promenade the one that's left behind you. Dance with me through the night, let my arms hold you tight, and with dawn's early light, let me take you home. Oh, my pretty girl, my pretty girl, I'm always dreaming of you. My pretty girl, my pretty girl, my darling, how I love you. Promise me you will never leave me, promise me you will never grieve me, promise me you will not deceive me, oh, my pretty girl. Promise me you will love me ever. Promise me you will leave me never. Promise me we'll remain together, oh my pretty girl. Colgate Dental Cream cleans your breath while it cleans your teeth. No other toothpaste does a better job of cleaning your teeth than Colgate Dental Cream. For Colgate Dental Cream has a safe polishing agent that cleans your teeth both gently and thoroughly, brings out their natural sparkle and beauty. And scientific tests prove that Colgate Dental Cream cleans your breath while it cleans your teeth. Yes, actual scientific tests prove conclusively that in seven out of ten cases, Colgate Dental Cream instantly stops unpleasing breath that originates in the mouth. Colgate Dental Cream is famous for its wonderful wake-up flavor, too. Nationwide tests of leading toothpastes prove that Colgate Dental Cream is preferred for flavor over other brands tested. So try Colgate Dental Cream to bring out the natural sparkle and beauty of your teeth for a wake-up flavor you'll thoroughly enjoy. And use Colgate Dental Cream twice a day and before every date to clean your breath while you clean your teeth. Well, as you know, our young hero, Dennis Day, rooms at the Anderson Boarding House in Weaverville. And as you also know, it isn't very often that we find his landlady, Mrs. Anderson, in a very affectionate or loving mood. But this is one of those rare occasions. For you see, the Andersons are to celebrate their 22nd wedding anniversary this week. And now, as Mrs. Anderson discusses the tender event with her spouse, the love light fairly beams from her eyes. 
A Herbert. Uh, yes, Bunny Fluff. I do want to give you something nice for our anniversary. A gift that would make you really happy. Is there something you've been longing to have? Oh, mercy, no. No, you're the only gift I'd ever ask of life, Lotus Face. <laughs> Over there must be some little present you'd like to have, Herbert. Well, uh, there is something I've always wanted, but I'm afraid it would be awfully expensive. What, dear? An electric dishwasher. <laughs> I'm afraid that would be a little expensive, Herbert. You better think of something cheaper. Well, I'll try, little dumpling. Well, the Andersons' impending anniversary is a problem not only to the Andersons, but to our young hero, Dennis, as well. And we find him now at Willoughby's drugstore trying to solve it in his own peculiar way. Mr. Willoughby. Yes, Dennis. You know something? You look to me like the type of fellow who's a real good sport. Well, thank you, Dennis. I'll bet when an attractive young brunette asks you for something, you just can't say no, can you? <laughs> I guess that's true, my boy. Fine. Can I have an advance on my salary? Dennis, your shape is somewhat different from the attractive brunette I had in mind. <laughs> yeah, I was afraid you'd notice it, but I need the money. Dennis, don't you realize that you're asking for money you haven't earned yet? Why, that's practically like stealing. It is? Certainly. If I gave it to you, I'd be starting you on the road to corruption. Now, what's it to be for you, my boy? Corruption or integrity? Could I have about $6 worth of corruption, please? <laughs> no, son, I... I feel I must watch out for your best interests. But it's terribly important, Mr. Willoughby. This week is the Andersons' anniversary, and I want to buy them a present. Well, I'm sure they'd appreciate a beautiful anniversary card every bit as much. We carry some lovely ones. And since you're working here, I'll let you have them for cost. Plus only my profit. <laughs> but, sir, I really feel I should give them a gift. You see, Mildred is spending $10 on the picture frame she's giving them, and I think Wait I ought minute. to spend it... A picture frame? Why not give them your picture to put in it? Oh, I don't think Mrs. Anderson would care for my picture around the house, Mr. Willoughby. It might look just like me. <laughs> Dennis... Dennis, if Mrs. Anderson doesn't like you, it's because she doesn't really know you. Give her a charming photograph of yourself so she can get familiar with a real you. But I'm afraid familiarity would just breed some more of what she's got for me now. <laughs> Nonsense. Now, my wife's brother has just opened a photographic studio over on Maple Street. Perhaps if you helped him out around the place, he'd take a portrait of you in exchange for your services. You mean I work off the price of the picture? Sure, in your spare time from your job here. Boy, that's a swell idea, Mr. Willoughby. I'll go over and tell him I'm free any morning before 7 a.m. or any afternoon after 10 p.m. <laughs> you're going to work for him in your spare time in return for having your picture taken? That's right, Mildred. I start tonight. But I should think he'd want to hire an expert on photography. Well, I kind of let him think I was. But don't worry, Mildred. I'll be a big help to him. I have been already. Well, what do you mean? Well, while he was busy, I found a room in the back he'd forgotten to put a light in, so I put in a nice bright one and turned it on. <laughs> Janice, that's the developing room. It's supposed to be dark. Oh, gee, I hope he doesn't find out I did it. He'll fire me, and I'll never get that picture of myself for your mother. Oh, yes, I know. Mr. Willoughby really thinks mother will fall in love with your picture, huh? Uh-huh. I figured ten minutes after she got it, she'd draw a mustache on it, but he says no. <laughs> Golly, I sure hope he's right. Well, she'll have to have it around for a little while anyway, because there's no other picture she can put in that frame you're giving her. Yes, that's where we're lucky. Yeah. Good morning, children. Oh, good morning, Daddy. Morning, Mr. Anderson. Well, the big day will be arriving pretty soon now, huh? Yes. Twenty-two years ago this Friday, my wife and I met at the altar. Poopsie, the triumphant bride, and I, the blushing groom. <laughs> Gee, twenty-two years. Have you been happy all that time, Mr. Anderson? Oh, happiness isn't the word for it, Dennis. No, sir, I didn't think it was. <laughs> means he's been extremely happy, Dennis. Oh, indeed I have been. Two people can be gloriously happy once they decide that marriage is a matter of give and take, and which of them's going to do what. 
I guess so. Uh, have you decided on an anniversary present for Mother yet, Daddy? You bet I have. Oh, and will she be thrilled. I'll tell you what it is if you promise to keep it a secret. You bet. Well, I've decided to give her a picture of myself. Oh, no. Huh? Mr. Anderson, let's not be hasty. There must be thousands of things she'd like better than your picture. Oh, oh yes, Daddy. Why not give her something practical? Or attractive. <laughs> Now, see here. Why not give her some dainty little underthing that women wear under their dresses like a money belt? Then it may. <laughs> I'll bet Mother would just love a nice nail set. That's it, with a hammer to match. <laughs> but Poopsie wants my picture. She's always said that I'd look lovely over the mantelpiece. Well, maybe she's mistaken. Climb up there and let's find out. I'll do nothing of the kind. And just remember now, you promised to keep this a secret. Goodbye. Gosh, what are we going to do now, Mildred? If he gives her his picture, she'll never put mine in your frame. Well, she still might, Dennis. Maybe she won't like the picture of Daddy. Mother's convinced that no one in the family takes a good picture but herself. Yeah, but I'm... Oh, Mildred, has your father gone out yet? Oh, he just left, Mother. Oh, good. I didn't want him to hear this. You know what I'm going to give him for our anniversary. Oh, I bet you love the idea as much as I do. Uh, what, Mother? My picture. You lose. <laughs> Mother, are you sure that's the right present for Dad? What? Yeah, why give him your picture? Slip him a half a buck and let him get something he'll enjoy. <laughs> Whether you two like it or not, Herbert is getting my picture for his anniversary present, and that's that. Boy, I'm glad you're not a dominating woman like your mother, Mildred. Well, I guess I'd better forget about having my picture taken, huh? You'll do nothing of the kind. Didn't Mr. Willoughby say that your picture would make Mother love you? Yes, but... You're going to that studio tonight. Yes, but... And you're going to have your picture taken. Yes, but... And you're not coming back here without it. Understand? Yes, Poopsie. <laughs> Oh, Mr. Kendall. Well, here I am, ready to go to work. Oh, yes, Mr. Day. I've been wanting to ask you something about my dark room. Were you by any chance the one who... Me? Oh, no, sir, not me. Why, I know better than to... Well, go on. It'll sound better if you ask the question first. <laughs> you know what happened yesterday? When I finished taking pictures of that lovely young model, Miss Latour, we went into the dark room together and found a light on. So nothing developed, huh? <laughs> I'm not sure I know what you mean. Me either. <laughs> oh, well, I suppose it's ridiculous to think you did such a thing. After all, as you told me yesterday, you've studied photography all your life. Oh, sure. Know it backwards and forwards. Gee, you've certainly got some swell equipment around here. Yes, we try to keep up with the times. What's this thing right here? It's called a camera. <laughs> oh, comes in very handy every now and then, I guess. Yes. Yeah. Well, shall we get to work? I want you to carry my plates inside for me. Your plates? Yes. Oh, you got a good job there. I could have sworn they were your own. <laughs> Mr. Day, I'm referring to photographic plates. Oh. You've heard of them, having studied photography all of your life? Oh, sure, sure. We're going to put them in the bath. Yeah, nothing like clean plates, I always say. <laughs> you may stop saying at any time you choose. Yes, sir. Naturally, the developing bath must be tested before the plates go in. You realize that? Oh, don't worry. I'll stick my big toe in first. <laughs> Mr. Day, I fear we were not meant for each other. Goodbye. It's been frightening to have met you. <laughs> Wait, please, Mr. Kendall. I've just got to get a picture of myself to give to my girls' folks. Don't fire me. I'm sorry, my boy, but I've just opened up here. You should try someone who's ready to close down. <laughs> but I could get you lots of customers, Mr. Kendall. You're just starting, and I know everyone in town. Hmm. Do you by any chance know Mrs. Courtney? The banker's wife? Oh, sure. Well, if I could get her to post for a portrait, I'd just about be made around here. Get her for me, and you can have your picture. Gosh, I'll bet I can. 
I'll pretend to be a famous foreign photographer from Italy or someplace. Mrs. Courtney is always very much impressed with farm foreigners. Fine. Pretend you're a foreigner, Mr. Day. <laughs> And may I just say in parting that I sincerely believe it's America's loss that you're only pretending. Gee, thanks. I think. <laughs> yes? Ah, uh, Signora Cortina, it makes it for you a great pleasure to meet me, is it? Why, who are you, my good man? I am a Signor Tortoni, the greatest photographer in all Italy. Oh, really? Uh, whom have you photographed? Why, I'm a snap of the king himself, a natch. <laughs> Victor Emmanuel? Oh, sure, both of those fellas, too. I don't understand. I'm a snap of all of the crown heads of Europe, lady. The king of England, the king of Greece, the king of France, the king the of... The king of France? My shoe. <laughs> Why, the last king of France has been dead for over a hundred years. How do you like that? And he said it was my fault. He no look a good in a picture. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I see, Signor Tartoni. You're joking with me. <laughs> Is it nice you feel it that way? <laughs> uh, uh, tell me, do you come from the north of Italy, Signor, or down south near Sicily? Uh, down south, near Sicily. Of course, Sicily move up or not to when she gets married. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. The Sicily I'm referring to is down at the toe of the Italian boots. Well, the one I'm going to talk about, they get kicked around plenty, too. <laughs> oh, Signor, your sense of humor is divine. <laughs> well, I hate to think where I'd be without yours. <laughs> You Italians. <laughs> hey, I just love Italy. It's such a beautiful country. That's a nice. Now we get down to business, huh? Remember the ruins of the Colosseum in Rome? No, I left it before the war. <laughs> <laughs> well, we get down to business. Mr. Courtney, I would like her to take your picture. My picture? Oh, how flattering. Oh, but... I'm no flatter you. You're very pretty, Mr. Courtney. Oh. I bet you there's no other sight like you on earth, except that maybe the Alps. <laughs> Why, you darling boy, I'd love you to take my picture. That's a fine. Here's the card that you come to this address. So goodbye. Arrivederci, signor. Beg your pardon? I said, arrivederci, signor. Oh, ten dollars a dozen. Well, goodbye. <laughs> How do you do? I'm Mrs. Courtney. I have an appointment for a sitting. Mrs. Courtney, you did come. Well, sit right down. I'll be with you immediately. You'll be with me? Young man, I'll have no assistance taking my picture. I want the great Signor Tortoni himself. You mean... Uh, uh, Mrs. Courtney, you'd be making a big mistake, really. See I... here. I know what I'm doing. This I will lay eight to five against. <laughs> Go fetch the Signor at once. Yes, Mrs. Courtney, of course. Day, put on that smock. I'm bringing Mrs. Courtney in, and you're going to take her picture. Me? But gosh, you know I don't know anything You'll have to about... do the best you can. I'm not going to lose her. But, Mr. Kendall, look, I'm... Right this way, Mrs. Courtney. Ah, uh, there you are, dear Signor Tartoni. Uh, your assistant wanted to take my picture, but of course I demanded you. You know, I feel you'll do something really unusual with me. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. Well, <laughs> I'll do the best I can. See that you do. I'll be back later. Now, how would you like me to pose, Signor? Well, let's see. What's a good popular pose? How about lying on your stomach on a white fur rug? <laughs> Signor Tortoni, please. <laughs> if you don't mind, We'll just have a nice, dignified picture with me sitting in this chair. Okay. Hold it still now. I get under the camera. Oh! Why, what's the matter? It's a dark in here. <laughs> <laughs> well, we go ahead with the picture. I think we got... 
Mrs. Courtney, please, no tricks. What? You ask me for the dignified picture. Then the minutes I look at you in the camera, you're sitting on your head, the son of God. <laughs> <laughs> you always see things upside down in a camera. Oh, really? What do you know from this? Well, we go back to work in one more minute. So we I have nearly a... finished in here. There's a Mrs. Anderson here, and she wants to have... Mrs. Her... Anderson, quick, Mr. Courtney. You step in the dark room just for a minute, huh, please? The dark room? I want on earth? Before I can take your picture, you've got to be a little more developed. <laughs> De developed? Why... Is... Since when is the subject developed instead of the picture? We're starting a whole new system. In the dark room, please, Ooh. quick. <laughs> Have you gone mad, Day? Shh, Mrs. Anderson is my landlady. If she sees me, the jig is up with Mrs. Courtney. I'll get back under the camera. You get her in here, we'll get rid of her fast. Okay. Right in here, Mrs. Anderson. All right. Where do you wish me to sit? You find her right there. Steady. I take the pitch. You see the birdie? No? I take anyway. Okay, next. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness, I didn't even have time to put on my makeup. The way I take the picture, makeup is to do you no good at all. Goodbye. <laughs> come along, Mrs. Anderson. Well, I must say this is very unusual. You can come out now, Mr. Courtney. Well, really, Signor Tortoni, this is fantastic. I'm beginning to think you don't know any more about photography than, than a soda jerk. Please, uh, let's not complicate things with the good guesses. <laughs> Sit right down now, I take the picture. That's a fire and a hole that now we get him. A... I have another customer, senor, a Mr. Anderson. Mrs. Courtney, I have just noticed something. You are developed fine here and there, but there and here, you no look so good. <laughs> you go back in the dark room, two more minutes, huh? Senor, this is absolutely ridiculous. It's Please, a... you don't want to undevelop a picture. In with you. <laughs> right this way, Mr. Anderson. Uh, yes, uh, shall I sit down right... Hold it still. Fine, come by. <laughs> You mean it's all over? My sure. But I wasn't even smiling. So what? You've got a very little to be happy about. <laughs> well, goodbye. My goodness, this certainly is the age of speed. Quick, let her out again. Now, see here, this is preposterous. It's completely unnecessary, and you know it. But it was necessary, Mrs. Courtney. Honest, it was. Signor Tortoni, what happened to your accent? Is it too late to put them back on, huh? <laughs> Much too late. Summon a gun. <laughs> Happy anniversary, Mother. Happy anniversary, Daddy. And here's a present for you both. Oh, a picture frame. How nice, Mildred. Yes, thank you, dear. I wish we had a picture of someone to put in it. Yeah, I do, too. To tell the truth, Poopsie, I did want to give you my picture today. I even had one taken, but, well, here, look how it turned out. What? Why, is this you, Herbert? Mm -hmm. Where's your face? <laughs> and your legs. All they got was my stomach. <laughs> Sort of a pot shot, huh? Well, I... I have a confession, too, Herbert. I also had my picture taken. Here, look at it. My goodness, they missed you entirely. <laughs> yes. How could a photographer be so stupid? Uh, there was something about that man's voice, too. It was so familiar. Well, I think I'll go to bed. Dennis? Yes, ma'am? Let me hear you say, watch the birdie, but say it with an Italian accent. Okay. Uh, sure now, Faith and Bigara, will you be looking at the birdie there, Bigara? <laughs> Do you call that an Italian accent? It's as close as I care to get. Well, good night, everybody. <laughs> Dennis Day will be back in just a moment with a song. But first, here's a fact worth knowing. Colgate Dental Cream cleans your breath while it cleans your teeth. And that's important, as our Colgate players are going to demonstrate. 
Tonight, as the Colgate curtain goes up, we find two pretty young girls deep in one of those heart-to-heart talks about men. It's weird, that's what it is. Jim had me thinking he was definitely serious, and then, well, then he just suddenly began to act funny. Well, you're his sister. Has he said anything to you about me or anything I could have done? Well, Jim's really in a tough spot, Judy. Yes, he has given me some idea of what's wrong. So I guess maybe it's sort of my job to set you straight. But do I ever dread it? Dread what? What are you talking about? I'm talking about you and a darn ticklish subject, Judy. Look, honey, I don't want to hurt your feelings, but, but you need your dentist to guide you, Judy. And here's what Judy found out. Scientific tests have proved that in seven out of ten cases, Colgate Dental Cream instantly stops unpleasing breath that originates in the mouth. What's more, Colgate Dental Cream's safe polishing agent brings out the natural sparkle of your teeth, cleans them thoroughly and safely. Yes, Colgate Dental Cream cleans your breath while it cleans your teeth. And Colgate Dental Cream is famous for its wonderful wake-up flavor, too. In fact, nationwide tests of leading toothpastes prove that Colgate Dental Cream is preferred for flavor over other brands tested. So, to clean your teeth thoroughly and safely, for a wake-up flavor everyone enjoys, use Colgate Dental Cream. Remember, Colgate Dental Cream cleans your breath while it cleans your teeth. Here's Dennis with Charles Dant and the orchestra and the beautiful arrangement of Heartaches. It's new, it's amazingly different. Not a liquid, not a soap, but an utterly new cream shampoo that leaves hair soft, radiant, glamorous, and also easy to manage. It's Luster Cream Shampoo, created by Kay Dumont, who combined rich lanolin with secret ingredients. Use Luster Cream Shampoo and see how soft, how naturally lovely, how brilliantly alive and well-behaved your hair can be. Ask for Luster Cream Shampoo at cosmetic counters. This is Vern Smith reminding you that Dennis Day can be heard with Jack Benny every Sunday, and be sure and be with us again next week for another Dennis Day program. More songs, more adventures in the life of our star, Dennis Day. Meanwhile, be sure to use Colgate Dental Cream to clean your breath while you clean your teeth. This is NBC, the national broadcasting company.